So one of the reasons why I chose to place my little girl, um, at first I felt really bullied because I was only 15 and everyone was telling me, everyone in my life was saying, you can't do this, you can't raise a baby, you're only 15 years old, what 15 year old makes a good mother? And so I was like, okay, like I'll look into adoption, that's the route that I'll go to. And I was just kind of going with the flow with everyone who was saying, you know, oh, adoption will be so much better. She'll be with a, a family, a mom and a dad, and she'll be provided for. And then finally, one day I just had a breakdown in my pregnancy where I realized how much I actually loved this child inside of me. And I realized that I needed to make this decision for myself, for, not for anybody else. And that's when I really started to dig deep and try to decide if adoption is what I wanted for my child. And that's when the true emotion started to come up and I realized that I wanted to make this decision for her and I started to weigh the pros and cons of parenting and placing and really it came down to my absolute love for her and the the life that I wanted for her and like I said I know I would have been a fantastic mother but I wanted her to have a mom and a dad. I wanted her to have a stable home. I didn't want her to be at a babysitter's while mom's mm -hmm. at work trying to finish high school. I wanted all these things for her. So it turned into people telling me that I couldn't parent to me deciding that I could parent, but it would have it's a better situation for her to be raised with a mom and a dad. A mom and a dad that I hand select, you know, can be as picky as I want and then give her that life that she so deserved. It's hard to give your kid good enough when you know there's ideal available. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. That's kind of what I, I based it on. I, I thought a lot about it before I was even in, before I was even pregnant. I thought a lot about all the options. And when you get to that point, every choice is hard. Mm -hmm. Marriage, parenting, all the choices are hard and they all have positives and really tough things about it. And adoption for me had way more positives than it did negatives. I, I thought a lot about it and I thought, you know, a lot about what I wanted him to have and what I felt like he deserved and adoption just really fit that. It, nothing, nothing else really even came close and I just, I thought adoption could do all of that. It really is true though. It's a matter of like picking your poison and weighing out the damages because once you're there, your options are suck, 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 and suck. I'm sorry. You know, there's no consequence free, free escape route, you know, and some people will say that this or that option is the easy way out. And I'm like, actually, there's no such thing. Yeah. Well, and I think a lot of times with when we're weighing these choices, like you said, you're weighing the negatives and the positives with adoption. A lot of the negatives fall on you, which right. is what which is what makes adoption so selfless because when you parent some of the negatives do fall on the child they may have to be in daycare they may have parents who are co-parenting instead of living in the same home with adoption those negatives are the ones that you take on yourself you're not sharing the consequences exactly much. that those consequences of the unplanned pregnancy are not falling on the child they're falling on you mm -hmm. yes and along the lines of what you're just saying is really what helped me make my decision you know, I was already a mother. I had a six-year-old daughter at the time, and I knew what it took to be a single mom to one kid, and that was really hard. And I knew that I couldn't do that with two kids. I didn't, I saw what my daughter had been through in her short life, and I couldn't do that to another person. And so my decision, you know, there was a lot of thought put into that, but it was very quick. It was, it was easy for me to make that choice because it just was right and it made sense. Yeah. You know, I loved him and I wanted him to have the great life that he does now. And it was just right. A lot of people in my world kind of treated me that I got myself in the situation, I needed to fix it. Mm -hmm. And kind of looked at my pregnancy as a consequence that being pregnant was punishment for what I had done or the situation I was in. And, and a baby's not a consequence. Gaining 60 pounds, having to quit your job, that's a consequence. That's something that, you know, comes with it. But I never, I never felt like he was a consequence and I didn't want him to suffer that consequence yeah. burden. And that whole argument about like, you made your bed, you gotta lie in it, take responsibility for your actions. That's true, I made a poor choice, did my son? No, no. Yeah. A child is not an object lesson. It's a human being. You know, you're here to teach me a lesson and straighten me out. You know, that's not fair. 
you know, um, he shouldn't have to take responsibility. Mm -hmm. And by placing for adoption, I was taking responsibility mm -hmm. for those things. For me, um, there were a lot of reasons why placing for adoption was right. But ultimately for me, it was like the answer to a prayer. It was a spiritual journey yes. for me, you know? Um, and, and it was a process of getting over myself, really. Because it was really confusing. I avoided the idea of adoption, naturally. Ever, I mean, your heart does. Yes. Your instinct does. I mean, no one wants to do that, you know? So I was really trying to feed all my investment and energy into every other possible option, you know? And I just couldn't feel consistently peaceful about it. And then finally, one day, just like, you know, just frustrated because I wanted that peace of mind that was going to last forever. I didn't want regret. And it just became really clear to me um, that the only question that mattered was what is best for my son, mm -hmm. period, amen. No more, no more questions, you know? Not how's it gonna affect me, not what does my boyfriend want me to do, not what does my parents want me to do, what do my parents want me to do, not what does the caseworker say, but what is best for my son, period. Mm -hmm. And when it was really, when that was really the only question and it took me months to get over myself and to put my will on the altar, you know, so to speak. But once I did, that's when clarity came. That's when, I wasn't, it wasn't clouded. I didn't go back and forth, you know. Um, but it's made sense for so many reasons. I wanted him to have, you want your kids to have more than you had, not less. And I'd had two parents with preparation, maturity, and experience, you know. And it was really important to me that, that he have the best that was available to him. And it was, it was just nagging to me to know there was more and that he couldn't have it. And I couldn't be satisfied until I, you know, let that settle on me till mm -hmm. I relinquished that. Mm -hmm.